The operator of Japan's destroyed Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has shown how a robot can help them. The remote-controlled robot will retrieve tiny bits of melted fuel debris from one of the reactors that were damaged in the 2011 tsunami in Japan. Now, Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings, or TEPCO, plans to use a telescopic extendable pipe robot to clean the debris out of the reactor. This is to safely close and dismantle the Fukushima nuclear plant. In a demonstration in Japan's Kobe, a device with tongs slowly descends from the telescopic pipe and picks up a piece of gravel. We believe that the test removal of fuel debris from Unit 2 is an extremely important part of the decommissioning work to be carried out. Therefore, we believe that it's important to proceed with the test removal of fuel debris in a safe and reliable manner. Following a major earthquake in 2011, a 15-meter tsunami disabled the power supply and cooling of three Fukushima Daiichi reactors. Now, this caused a nuclear accident which led to all three nuclear cores of the Fukushima Daiichi power plant to melt, leading to the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. About 880 tons of highly radioactive melted nuclear fuel remain inside the three damaged reactors. Critics argue that the 30 to 40 year cleanup target set by the government and TEPCO is too optimistic because each reactor has different damage which requires tailored plans for their conditions. Earlier this year, TEPCO used four mini drones to capture images inside of the reactors. Notably, this work is over two years behind schedule. The removal of melted fuel was initially planned for late 2021. However, it has faced delays due to the challenges of recovering from the 2011 magnitude 9 earthquake and tsunami. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.